Hi there friends, so I just want to bring you this video and talk about the case of two year old Zyro who was the little boy that fell into the river in Leicestershire. When Zyro fell into the river his dad desperately went in to try and find him and get him out of the water but he was not able to find him and successfully recover him from that river. So since then the police have obviously been there with their search teams combing the river and occasionally updating the public. Now this case hasn't made massive traction in the media and one of those reasons I think is because we know that he is in the river and so there isn't anything that obviously talking about him is going to do because they are looking for him in a specific place because that's where he went in and that is a place where obviously the police are. However, it comes to my attention that the family of this little boy, Zylo, have asked for the assistance of Peter Spalding to come and help aid and work alongside the teams that are out there already. You know, they've already been out there looking for him now and obviously they've been unsuccessful in finding him. Now, there was a lot of call for Peter to go and up there to obviously go and help and he can't just do that usually either the police have to call him in or the family have to ask and request that he comes to help the family have done that as it says up there as a family we are disappointed and frustrated with the level of support that we have been given by leicestershire police personally to our family and with response to our request to call in the extra specialist resources from specialist group international that kindly offered free of charge. And we know Peter has done this before. Since Wednesday, our family have been requesting um, SGI to supplement the search efforts as we approach the sergeant in charge, assistant chief constable Michaela Kerr, requesting authorization for Peter Folding to support in the search for my grandson. Sadly, the sergeant's response to that is no members of the public are to get involved. Firstly, Peter Fulden isn't just a normal member of the public, is he? I am. So if they were requesting me to go and help dive, I get it, right, because I'm just a member of the public. Peter Fulding is a well-established, well-experienced company that does this for a living and used to work on the police national database to come and help the police in times of trouble when they wanted that extra support and we know why he is no longer on that data about database and that's wrong and now I feel because of what's gone on they've kind of let that cloud their judgment and they've gone boom absolutely not so as you can see, um, it says, in an attempt to escalate the request, the family then asked to speak to the senior officer and was advised to call 101. Seriously? We have been shocked at this response to a desperate family in the grips of despair, heartbroken at, the, at their unimaginable loss, yet unable to grieve. We are not supported appropriately, professionally or compassionately, and Leicestershire police and the public need to hear from us. Now I know, because I've seen it, that Peter had already offered the services and when the public were calling for him to go to Leicester to help them, that he'd offered his services free of charge. And Peter Falden has now come out, and so he should, because obviously if he remains in silence, it looks like he's not interested in helping this family. So he says, four days ago, the control room at Specialist Group International was contacted by the family of Zylo the missing two-year-old boy in the River Saw, asking for our assistance in the search, particularly with our sonar equipment. And although there has been and continues to be a large amount of specialist teams involved, the family feel another specialist team with high-tech specialist equipment would further be a value, valuable asset to this complicated and difficult search. And I agree. What the fuck? Myself and my team at SGI are always here to help the families of missing persons and have offered our full underwater search team and equipment free of charge on the proviso that permission is granted by Leicestershire Police. Since Wednesday, the family have continuously requested for SGI's involvement but have been assured that there's adequate resources um, and that they are already on the scene. 
SGI's involvement is no way intended to take over, replace existing resources, but simply assist a dedicated team who have been working extremely hard all week. You know, that thing they call a fresh set of eyeballs. Never hurt anyone. I have a two-year-old grandson, and if he were in the river, I would do everything I could to bring in everyone with the relevant skill to assist. Me too. And at the end of the day, Peter Fording is a professional man with a professional business who knows what he's doing. The constabularies do not spend as much money on their equipment as other companies would do that are private companies. They don't have the budgets for it. Let's face it, they can't even afford to put bobbies on the beat anymore. And so when someone comes to offer you help for free to help you in your search for a little boy whose parents are desperately desperate to get him home so that they don't lose him to the water forever so that they can give him the funeral that he so much deserves and you're refusing any help the more eyes and the more boats that are on that river the better to me this is pulling rank this is rank this is them fearing that hey what if he now comes in and finds this little boy that we've been looking for for you know almost the last week what if he does that? Oh, we can't have that, can we? Oh, no, no. So actually, we'll just keep saying no. We'll just say no. We'll just say no. And instead of just putting that to one side and thinking, it doesn't matter who pulls this little boy out of that river. As long as somebody can get that little boy out of that river, does it matter if it happens to be Peter? You've got nothing to lose, Leicestershire Constabulary. You have got nothing to lose. You can bring Peter in. He ain't charging you any money. He's not going to do anything you don't want him to do. He's going to go and search that river. Now, if he happens to find Zylo, great and if he doesn't he goes home again you need to listen to the family and what the family wants this isn't about the politics of everything that's gone on and i feel that this back this sort of pushback is that it is that um and in a situation like this pushback needs to be not in place he is a specialist dive team with the right people he's not a member of the public like you and me and my friends he is a company that do dives for the police the same as the other specialist dive team from kent that you've pulled in only you not have to pay him you don't have to pay peter that said i'm really frustrated by this and we're going to talk about it on my live but i just wanted to bring this video out please share this please get this out there please please let's shake shake this room up a bit because we need if that family want peter falling up there peter falling should be up there and we should not be sitting back letting leicestershire constabulary do whatever the fuck they want and not listening to this family and hey ho nothing has been learned has it in terms of their compassion you know the family for nicola bully didn't get compassion they didn't even get a family support person for quite some time um and it seems in terms of compassion they are lacking and let me tell you i haven't yet found a video yet where i've heard that police woman the chief constable call the little boy by his name it's that boy that little boy that little boy has a name zylo okay bye